Welcome back to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and wouldn't you like to have a blue mojito? I know I would. Let's get into it. All right, it's great to have every single one of you back here, my friends. We are making a blue mojito. Interestingly enough, the mojito itself is a classic cocktail, and it was really popularized in the James Bond movie, Die Another Day, starring Pierce Brosnan and Halle Berry. However, I was looking at the idea of the mojito and I said to myself, self, what can you do with the mojito with what you have at home now without having to go anywhere? And I answered myself and said, make it blue. And then I went, uh, how do I do that? And then the light bulb went on and I realized I have blue curacao, which is great because this will give us a hint of orange flavor. But I'm not going to just build this in the glass with a little bit of crushed ice. We're going to shake this. Let's get into it. Grab your shaking glass, and we're gonna start with the initial pieces of mint. And you need four or five or six mint pieces, depending on your size, you might even want eight. I'm not going to muddle these, I'm just gonna spank them once, just to awaken the cells and start the oils and the scents from coming up, because we really want that. We don't want the bitterness of crushed mint leaves. Your first liquor of choice is white rum. Now in this case, I'm using lamb's white rum. And we're going to, theoretically, once I've opened it, use two ounces or 60 milliliters. The next thing you want is a little bit of simple syrup. Now, I'm using a one-to-one -one simple syrup, one part water, one part sugar. Warm it up till it goes clear, put it in the fridge, let it cool off, then use to your heart's content. And for this, we're going to use three quarters of an ounce, which works out to 22 and a half milliliters. Next, you want the all-powerful lime. And for this, we're gonna use one lime, but we're aiming for exactly one ounce. One ounce is 30 milliliters. Not bad, put those over here. Now, put this off to the side, grab a slightly smaller jigger. You could use a bar spoon, but we're gonna grab some blue curacao, whatever type of blue curacao you have. For this, we need quarter of an ounce or 7.5 milliliters. That will give us just a little bit of blue. And how we're going to vary, how we're going to vary this is we're going to shake this with a little bit of ice. Now your traditional mojito is served with crushed or pebbled ice. And what we'll do is we'll shake this hard for a good 10 to 15 seconds, give it a push, and shake it with a smile. Smack that off gently. Look at that. Now you don't want to shake it too hard. And the reason I say that is you still have the mint leaves in there and you just want more of that gentle action that works with the dilution and the chilling of the drink. You don't want to really pound the crap out of the mint leaves. So grab a tall glass. In this case, I'm using a 10 ounce Pilsner glass. You'll see most mojitos are built in a highball glass, usually 10 to 12 ounces, depending. All right, look at that. Now what we're going to do is fine strain this. We want to make sure that we get out all the little ice chunks and we definitely want to make sure we get out those little mint leaves or the crushed bits of mint leaf that will actually be in there. Look at that. That is gorgeous. However, we're not done yet. Grab your soda water of choice. In this case, I'm using Canada Dry. You could use Schweppes. If you have a soda stream, an even better option because you don't have to keep buying your little cans or bottles of it. And you want to top it about two ounces to 60 milliliters. Look at that. Now what we'll do is we'll just give it a very gentle stir just to, just to incorporate everything just nicely, like so. We're gonna grab some mint. We're gonna smack it a little bit slide it in there for just a little bit of look and that hint of mint. Smells great. You've got the earthiness and those minty tones directly there. You don't really get 
a smell of the rum or even the blue cure sour, the lime kicking through. Let's taste it. Oh, that is good. That is really good. You get the lime, you get the uh, simple syrup just sort of working through it really, really nicely. You get those hints of mint because we didn't put a lot of mint in this. And there's just a hint of the blue curacao and the orange from that. Oh, that's really good. It looks stellar too. Rather than a blue curacao, you could put an orange curacao in. Get the same type of flavors, for example, like a Pierre Ferrand, which will give you just a, a slightly drier taste to this, but you'll get a beautiful orange tone to this drink. Totally up to you. Please let me know what you would do differently about this cocktail. Leave a comment down below. I will leave the ingredients and the method of how to make this in the description for you. If this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on the rocks because every little bit helps us to bring these videos to you. You have a great afternoon. Because you still have to melt in the... Now what we're going to do is we're going to fine strain this in, fine strain this out. And if this, what I will do of course is, you know, just a second.